It's a lot. I imagine yes. there might be some canceled flights later on this evening. I think it's with, possible right, late traffic. night for weather related reasons. Right, exactly for late later flights uh, because really we don't have anything starting mm. around here until maybe north central Illinois a little bit later on this afternoon and then pushing more so into the evening right around the time it's going to get dark. We're going to start to see that snow falling uh, and then we do have several hours where snow will be a factor for us before a changeover to a little rain snow mix and then eventually just rain. So by the time you wake up tomorrow Tomorrow morning, a lot of the snow that falls may already be melted. You're looking out over cloudy skies out there, certainly right now. Bourbon A, still cold, 23 degrees. David's Bro, Betty in Johnsburg at 27. Larry out in Valpo's at 25, and so is Paul Barrett in Salmonock. Okay, all this purple winter weather advisory goes up 2 o'clock, a little bit farther out to the west, 5 p.m., a little bit closer into the city and farther east. This is for the potential for some accumulating snow as well as a little wintry mix, and that's obvious where that's coming from the system just back on off to our west. We've got snow on the northern extent of it. A little ridge of sleet here, followed by freezing rain and then rain uh, generally down to the south. We'll see a little bit of all of it at this point. You can watch on the satellite and radar trackers. The snow begins at 4 o'clock to push into areas like Morris, Ottawa, and DeKalb. Still not in the city, so if you're doing an early commute, you're fine. But by about 5.30, if you're leaving from the city and heading west, you'll run into that snow. Leaving from the city and heading east, you may still be okay at that point. Snow continues to spread across the area, though, and by 6.30, pretty much everywhere is dealing with snow potentially at times the intensity ratcheting up look for those brighter purple colors by nine o'clock tonight some of our southwest burbs are already getting some freezing rain which spreads east through the midnight hour and then it's rain pretty much unless you're in those northern border areas snow may linger a little longer there but certainly we're talking about rain by the time most of us wake up saturday morning and then it ramps uh, through the morning and leaves by about lunchtime as potentially all just rain from that point forward. Snowfall tracker on this coming in for most of us somewhere in the three inch range. So let's go with a good two to four to give it a little window here in case the changeover happens a bit later. Ice accumulation is also a possibility through the overnight. By the time you wake up in the morning again, it's rain, but there could be some south of I-80. I'll be back to talk about that seven day planner coming up in just a bit.